Hi and welcome to a new Decred News Update. I'm your host Exodus. Today I wanted to start off by talking about Decred's timestamping service being used in Brazil. Brazilian presidential candidate Lula used the immutable Decred blockchain in order to timestamp his government plans to fight fraud and fake news. Users can verify the government plans on the Decred blockchain by comparing hashes. We have lots of new development updates including DCRDEX version 0.5.4 and DCRD version 1.7.5. DCRDEX is a non-custodial, privacy respecting exchange for trustless trading powered by atomic swaps. DCRDEX version 0.5.4 has arrived and with it comes an easy to use standalone DEX application that can be found at the bottom of the page on dex.decred.org. The DEX developers have included an executable that adds a DEX system icon tray which is perfect for new users, especially those that do not use Decrediton, such as the Litecoin community or any other altcoin communities. Which leads me to the next big part of this update. Litecoin markets have finally come online, allowing users to atomic swap between Decred and Litecoin and Litecoin and Bitcoin. The lot sizes are as follows. The DCR BTC pair remains at 40 Decred per trade. The Decred Litecoin pair is just 2 Decred per trade. And the Litecoin to Bitcoin pair is 6 Litecoin per trade. These markets are unfortunately still quite thin, so hopefully the Litecoin community takes notice of this awesome technology that allows them to trade peer-to-peer -peer with no KYC and no trading fees. And speaking of altcoins, Zcash is now supported using Zcash D in this release to start, but the devs are looking at light wallet solutions. Unshielded addresses are used for trades. Other major bullet points for this release are as follows. There is now a native Decred built-in wallet. No external wallet software is even required to trade DCR anymore. Electrum Light Wallet support is added with Litecoin and Bitcoin to start. Support for the latest Litecoin Core software that introduced Mimblewimble private addresses, though regular addresses are used for trades. The DCR decks can now work with mixed account configurations when using DCR Wallet or Decrediton, allowing Decred's privacy features to be used automatically when trading. Swap options may be set at the time of placement of each other rather than in the wallet settings. Improved send and withdraw controls. Bitcoin swap acceleration using CPFP transactions to increase the swap fee rate in the event of a network fee spike. Fiat currency value displays. QR code display for wallet receiving addresses. There is now a copy button next to the wallet's receiving address. And rescan and recover functionality for the native BTC SPV wallet. There were also tons and tons of under the hood bug fixes in regards to the native Bitcoin wallet. Fee rates, client shutdown, and more. I'll leave a link in the video description for the full release for those interested. Ethereum support is making progress as well as a new layout. Next up is DCRD. DCRD is a full node implementation that powers Decred's peer-to-peer -peer network around the world. Recent work centered around optimization and cleanup. The devs reworked the unspent transaction outputs to improve its robustness, optimize it, and correct some hard to hit corner cases. This cache provides fast access to coins and circulation and is essential for performance because each block basically spends existing coins and creates new coins. Added a database migration to remove unspent transaction outputs that cannot be spent. Specifically, coins created by the treasury-based transaction are never directly spendable and thus should not take space in the unspent transaction output database. This work resulted in version 1.7.5, which everyone should upgrade to in order to be on the latest software. In Decrediton, Decred's graphical desktop wallet, the ability to refresh the DEX window with F5 key has been added. The treasury spending page now uses testnet pi keys on testnet and has proper links to verify them in DCRD source code and updated the German translation. Speaking of translations, a new status page has been created to track how up-to-date Decred software translations are and where help is needed. Currently tracking Decrediton, DCR DEX, and Decred.org website. I'll leave a link for this in the video description as well. Politea is Decred's proposal system. It is used to request funding from the Decred treasury. There were a number of things improved, including fixed ordering of proposal author updates, a GUI remake on the new plugin architecture, mobile view improvements for comments, markdown buttons, proposal page, and more, and added test units for app installation. Decred has been added to Binance's Simple Earn program with an APY of 2.5%. And now let's look at community media. We hosted a new Decred community roundtable featuring members from the community. What's Decred's killer feature and is there a feature that you would like to see? So I think there are two killer features. First of all, Decred's feature rich. And that's something I really like. The two features that I, I like to talk about is participation one. Everybody 
in our ecosystem has the ability to participate. We're all allowed to vote on every proposal. We're allowed to vote on every consensus change. We're allowed to vote on every decred that gets spent or DCR that gets spent from the treasury. And should those proposals pass, we, uh, we have the ability to get funding from the treasury. Well, I would quote uh, Chris Berniski. I think he said uh, that uh, if you get governance right, then you can get any feature you want. Basically, all these problems you can think of with Bitcoin are exactly what uh, makes, makes Decred better. So DEX was a response to, we couldn't call it an attack, but let's call it uh, a problem Decred had. had. Like we weren't, we weren't listed, we were delisted. So instead of weakening us, it made, made Decred stronger, I think, because the, the, the DEX was built, right? So the similar thing is with privacy. And, and uh, let, let's take another example with the mining centralization. We noticed the, center, the mining was centralized, and instead of this, uh, uh, let's let's say, uh, destroying the coin like it could have, like it destroyed many other coins, I think, we could respond to that and make Decred better by changing the reward uh, distribution. Former Decred and Death podcast host Eduardo Limo also joined us. I believe, is my personal opinion, that some of the, the heroes of all of this of civil liberties, truthfully, are the software developers, the people who are building the technology. You know, Decred's kind of already future proof, but it's like, if we don't fight for those rights, if we don't fight for our right for peer-to-peer -peer exchange, if we don't fight for our right for privacy, if we don't fight for our right, you know, to not be censored and not be banned and to, you know, have due process of law before you have your assets just taken and frozen, like if we don't fight for these things, they will not be given to us. And so I, I say thank you to those developers out there. Decred Society created videos on the DCR DEX. A cryptocurrency must be able to seamlessly integrate and operate throughout the full ecosystem. The result should be a fluent experience for the user, to the point that transacting with peer-to-peer -peer cash will be a better, more versatile experience for all participants. By having its own exchange, Decred has direct access to all markets and fiat on and off ramps. With just one simple pair, DCR to BTC, Decred can move seamlessly between cryptocurrencies, exchanges and fiat currencies in all regions of the world without needing anyone's permission. As time moves on, pairs and liquidity will also grow to provide even greater opportunities. And now let's look at Politea, Decred's proposal platform. The DCR timestamp bot proposal from CoinShuffleBot requests $1,950 payable in DCR to revive and maintain the DCR timestamp bot. If you mention DCR timestamp bot in a tweet, your tweet will be timestamped on the Decred blockchain and the tweet will be saved on IPFS. The bot will reply with a link to your downloadable timestamp proof as well as a link to view your tweet from IPFS via a dedicated domain. This proposal includes cloud hosting for 12 months and the domain fees. The original creator, Decred developer Tiago Dulce, supports this proposal. On Polite, we have the Decred PR proposal, phase four from Lindsay McConaughey. The goal of this proposal is to continue public relations efforts to secure news pieces about Decred, developments, milestones, achievements, and newsworthy updates on various media sites as well as managing incoming press inquiries and responding to journalists' requests for comment on relevant topics, among other efforts. A new element of this proposal is working with writers and Phoenix Green to produce news and analyst-style articles for Decred Magazine. Lindsay has been delivering PR for Decred over the last three years. This proposal would last for one year beginning on September 15th, with a cost of $4,000 per month payable in Decred. This proposal passed with 66% voter approval and a 59% voter turnout with 24,000 votes passed. Speaking of Lindsay's work, this past month's comments were featured in Cointelegraph's article on the Lightning Network comparing it to other networks. Comparing the Lightning Network, Solana, and Decred itself, Decred project lead Jaco Compayat said, Of these three, Lightning Network is the most decentralized, sovereign, and most aligned with the original ethos of the cryptocurrency space. Solana sacrifices most of its decentralization via its onerous validating node requirements, but at least it does not appear to be able to censor users and merchants arbitrarily. Another comment in Forbes from Jay-Z was published on meme coins, referring to how almost all meme coins fail, and people only remember the winners like Dogecoin. Jay-Z says, we tend to only focus on the winners and ignore the fact that those wins are extreme outliers. 
Now let's quickly go over network statistics. Current ticket price is 227 decred per ticket. 65.34% of the circulating supply is staked, which is an all-time high. Hash rates seem to have stabilized around 89 petahashes. The treasury is worth 22.7 million US dollars. There is currently 14,467,489 decred in circulation with 62% mixed using Decred's built-in Stake Shuffle privacy service, which is another all-time high statistic. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.